Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw and modify shapes. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a blank Word document open here, and the first thing that I want to show you is where shapes can be found. If you go up here to the Insert tab, and you go to the Illustrations group, you'll see a button with a drop-down arrow that says Shapes. If you click on this, it has a bunch of different shapes for you to choose from. If you've used any shapes recently, they'll be displayed up at the top, and then you have categories that are always there, like lines, rectangles, basic shapes, block arrows, equation shapes, flowchart, stars and banners, and also callouts. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm gonna use the curved right arrow, which is this one right here, and I'm gonna show you how to create a shape. So you could follow along with me if you want, and I'm working on a blank Word document. So I'm gonna click on curved right arrow, and I'm going to click and drag to draw. So you can click and drag. Don't worry too much about the height and width, because I'm gonna show you how to change that right now. So you click and drag to the, about that height and that width, and you release. All right, so now I'm gonna uh, show you that once you have it selected, you'll notice that sizing handles appear on all of the corners and sides, and also the drawing tools format tab is displaying. If you deselect it, you're not gonna see that anymore, so you have to make sure that you have the shape selected in order to format it. Once you know how to format it, let's learn how to change the size. So go to the drawing tools format tab, and on the right side in the size group, you're gonna see a height, which if you click in, it'll highlight. Change Change it to 3 and then press enter. That will change the height. The width will not be changed automatically, so if I wanted to change the width, I'll click on this and I will, th since it's highlighted, I'll replace it with a 2 for 2 inches wide. There we go. Now our shape is the correct height and width. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to create a copy of a shape, but I'm going to teach you without copy and paste since mostly everybody knows how to do that already. I'm going to show you a different way. If you hold down the control button on your keyboard and then you click and drag from the shape, watch what happens. So I hold control, click and drag from the shape. It's going to create a brand new shape of the exact same height and width. Notice both shapes are currently selected right now, so go ahead and deselect them by clicking somewhere on a blank spot of your document. That'll deselect your shapes. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the shape on the right, and I'm going to uh, teach you guys how to flip it around horizontally so that it's a mirror image of the first shape. So if I go to the Drawing Tools Format tab, the Arrange group, I could go right here to Rotate, and I can do a flip horizontal. And this is actually an easy way to get a mirror um, <clears throat> of the first shape, and this works with any shape. So if you flip horizontal, now you have the opposite shape. Okay, so uh, that's how that works. And I'm gonna move this shape so that it's about at the same, uh, same horizontal height and about right there. All right, good. So that looks good. So now I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is teach you how to insert a rectangle. And if you go over here to the Insert tab, the illustrations group and you click on shapes, you're going to see the rectangles group. The first one right here is a basic rectangle. Let's go ahead and click on that. With this rectangle, I'm going to go ahead and just create it just about like that. Okay, so I drew the rectangle in there and I want it to line up about right in between them, about right there. All right, within any shape, you could actually start to type. And if uh, you have a shape like this, which is a rectangle, which is well suited for uh, text within it, all you have to type in is what goes around comes around. All right, so now that you've typed that in there, you could actually edit the text within it by doing a control A right after you typing, or right after you finish typing. And I wrote what goes around come around. It should be what goes around comes around. There we go. And so do a control A within that. And let's figure out how to change the font settings in this. That's in the home tab, the font group. By default, Word will input this font in in uh, Calibri size 11, which is the default font for Word. You could actually change the uh, font by going right here and just typing in Century Gothic or hitting the drop, drop down arrow and going down to Century Gothic but there's, uh, there's a whole bunch of fonts in here, so I usually just type it, but that's the one I'm choosing right now, Century Gothic. And then, since it's still highlighted and selected, okay, and again, you can either highlight it or do a Control A, they do the same thing, which is select all. Let's change the font size to size 18. And so you'll see right there, size 18. Now, if you didn't draw your rectangle big enough, you could change the sizing handles or increase the sizing handles so that it fits, okay? 
And then what we're going to do is I'm going to learn how I'm going to teach you guys how to group objects together. So let's say that I want to edit all three objects at once, all three shapes at once. I'm going to select the first shape, which is the rectangle, hold down control on my keyboard, click the left arrow, still holding control, click the right arrow. And you'll see that all three shapes are selected. And now any changes that I make to this shape will affect all three shapes. But the thing is, is sometimes you want the shapes to be grouped together as one image. That way you don't have to select them all three times. The way that you do that is you group the images together by right clicking, going to group, and then clicking on group. You could also get there by going to the drawing tools format tab, and then going to the arrange group, choosing group, and clicking group. Either one does the same thing. Notice that it's all one image now. Now I change to one uh, thing on this now affects it all and they move together which is kind of nice too. Alright so let's go ahead and change the uh, style of this shape. So let's go to the drawing tools format tab, shape styles group, and you'll see a gallery of different styles and colors. Now this doesn't show all of the different styles that you have. If you click the more button in the bottom right of this gallery, you're actually going to see all of the styles. And the style that we're going to choose for this one is right here. Okay, it's this one right here. It's called Subtle Effect Gold Accent 4. And if you click that, you'll see that it affects all three of those shapes in there. Now the last thing that I'm going to do is change the font size, or sorry, the font color in here. Notice that if I click within here, I now see that I can now type. So a control A will select all of the text in here. And then I could go to the home tab, font group, and click the font color arrow. And I'm going to choose dark blue since it'll look good with the gold on the background. So I choose dark blue and there it is. To ungroup shapes, all you need to do is uh, click within the shapes. Any of the shapes are fine. And then right click and go to group and choose ungroup and that will actually make them individual shapes once more. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit about uh, creating the shape and drawing it as well as grouping the shapes together and adding text and even changing up the font formatting for the text within a shape. So if this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section below and have a great day. Thank you for watching.